Welcome to Classroom GIS in South Africa. GIS textbook lecturing has largely jeopardized the quality of GIS education. Classroom GIS has changed how geography as an academic subject is taught, but teaching, but GIS teaching uh, in most cases has been textbook based in South Africa and parts of the world. Also, the introduction of GIS te technology um, and education can be a frightening phase for teachers and teachers may not want to be involved in that. Now, the advocacy to include GIS practices and strategies in the, in the geography classroom has been advocated by a number of scholars and documented as well. But unfortunately, it hasn't been receiving the necessary attention that, it's, that it deserves. Now, the Geospatial Data Science Certificate is a program that is being piloted by the in Independent Examination Board, that is the IEB. Um, it is a project-based, um, it, it is a team-based uh, uh, project where grade 10 and 11 learners come in and they are part of a of a program that allows them to be able to um, use GIS technology. So in, currently we have about 381 learners registered in the, in the program, all from 30, uh, 30 different schools across um, South Africa. And yes, I know we said piloted, but we didn't expect the number of learners that came in. And also, Katoza is um, hosting the material uh, that, uh, that is being used for, for, the, uh, for the program. And also, we use um, a platform called Moodle. And the program is divided into two parts, that is um, part A and part B. Part A is the training and instruction component of the certificate. And then part B is a group task where learners are required to go and do research, whereas that research will later then result into them um, producing an academic poster using the lessons and the instructions that they've received from part A. The diagram shows, um, the diagram provided here shows um, a bit of an overview in terms of how we go about um, preparing ourselves for the, for the program. So for example, like preparing the course, registering learners, creating groups so that they can be enrolled and access the material and start the project. The Katoza platform uh, simply uh, disseminates uh, these materials to learners, such as tutorial videos, documentation in terms of how you navigate the QGIS interface, and also links to different open source platforms, such as the GeoData Mart. So what the GeoData Mart is, is a platform that allows learners to go in, clip and ship. Basically, they clip um, towards their study area, from there, they download the layer as a, a geo package, and the geo package includes a, um, a QGIS project that has um, styled layers that are readily available to, for learners to, um, to use. And here are some of the maps that the learners have produced so far for part A, and I must say 16 year olds are very creative. They have their own brains, like some of them have mentioned that um, they've spent so many years constructing this, this theme park. So, which is very interesting to see. But now the take home message here is GIS can be implemented in the geographic classroom and open source um, software is key to overcoming um, the lack of resources that are that uh, certain institutions or learners or schools that, uh, that they face. And also ge uh, geography educators need just enough um, training to facilitate student-led GIS learning. And also research is definitely needed, um, research is needed that is sustainable um, that will be implemented in the geography school um, curriculum and classroom and also support from the um, open source community really helps. For more information you can visit these, um, these sites so that you can learn more about the GDSC and who endorses it and who supports it. Also, my name is Siabilo Diludi um, from Kartoza, Gyalobocha, Nyabonga. Thank you.